Well, for me, retirement was not the usual sort of process because about sort of about eight years before one would think of retiring, I had a chat with a priest and he realized that I was worried about administration and that sort of in the parishes. So he suggested to me, would you consider going back and being an assistant? And I'd, I'd never even thought of this, but yes, I thought, oh, well, I'll try it. And so the wheels were put into motion and Bishop Tripp eventually found a parish for me. And that's how I ended up at Addiscombe as an assistant to a parish priest who was about 20 years younger than me. I was pleased to have reached this point in my life um, 75, not too early maybe, to retire, um, and to look forward really to um, a different kind of, a different shape to my life. When I uh, left the parish, a small boy said, will you still be a priest? Which is a big question. And I think I want to say, yes, I am, but the way in which I will be a priest from now on is changing and um, I'm up for that. Well, for me, retirement came much sooner than I expected because like everybody else, I hoped to continue until I was 75. But unfortunately, um, my health broke down. I had problems with my heart and I had prostate cancer. So, and there were other family problems with my, one of my brothers dying and my mother dying, all in the same year. So um, I had to retire uh, against my wishes anyway. I didn't want to be cut, cut, completely cut off from parochial life and the people, if, if I could help it. Having been a priest for so many years, you know. That was my only worry, and so it turned out very well. I was able to sort of retire gradually, as you, I told you. I've always regarded a sort of bereavement, because you're leaving the parish where you've been happy, hopefully, and you've got to go there and you're on your own. Probably you'll move away from the diocese, from the parish where you've been. You've got to find a new doctor, you've got to find a new dentist, you've got to find a new garage for service of your car. There's so many things that happen on the actual moment of retirement, so it keeps you occupied for a time. And then after a little while, you suddenly realise that, that you're free. And sometimes it occurs, well, wh what am I going to do today? But things seem to turn up, you find, you find plenty to do. Life was always busy, always full. There were things happening at school, things happening with staff that you could you could go out with them. We'd go, you know, at the end of a school day, the end of a term. There was lots of festivities going on. So you had a built-in social life. If I finished work, what would happen to that social life? And I thought, well, if I wanted to, I could close the door on my life at the moment and enter what would be a very empty room. And I've no intention of doing that, and I had no intention of doing that. My hope was to have more time for my friends, um, more time with people, um, and maybe to um, develop some interests of my own that, um, that, uh, that, that I haven't had time for. Um, more time for my family, um, and I think to, to sit alongside people um, rather than being um, sometimes in front of them or um, in a role of leadership. I, I think I want to rediscover my baptism, really, alongside people. I mean, if I'd been retiring and I no, wasn't certain about what I was going to do, it would have been a different matter, but I knew exactly what I was going to do. I knew I was going to become more involved in working with married couples, particularly in supporting marriage. And as a result of that, really, I worked with some married couples and developed marriage preparation in the whole of the southwest area of the diocese. Uh, but that was really because I'd, I'd gained so much experience from, with married couples, and so I felt I was able to offer something with, with the help of married couples. So I wouldn't dream of doing it on my own. I wouldn't dream of doing it on my own because I'm not an expert except that I know a lot about it. <laughs> when my health got better and I am completely uh, 
cured of the cancer and my heart problems are kept under control. I'm able to walk again uh, in a local parish at um, the English Martyrs in Streatham where I say Mass every week, every Sunday and help out in other ways if I, when, when I can. And they've been marvellous to me as well, but because I've been doing it now for over 10 years. The hardest thing in my retirement is, is being incapable of walking being in, and uh, getting deaf and uh, uh, being uh, weary sometimes and thinking uh, how much longer. You know, uh, I don't want to go on forever. I would rather die in harness, it were, really. For priests considering retirement, the diocese wants to ensure that they have a reasonable um, a place to live in, that um, the, the, the manner in which their lives uh, will, will be lived uh, will provide for them to fulfill their priesthood, and also to ensure that uh, they have sufficient financial support to ensure that they are never um, in grave need. I felt very innocent uh, in, in looking for somewhere to live for myself, but various people helped and, in, in, and amazingly something did turn up that in many ways was very suitable for me and so I was lucky. Um, but no, the, the diocese and the finance office have been very accommodating and very supportive, so I'm grateful for that. Yeah. I've been looked after extremely well. The diocese has provided me with a nice cottage behind, as you see, uh, which is uh, quite comfortable, well heated. If ever I need anything damaged done to it, the diocese will uh, repair it. It's going to repair it, quite a lot of it in the next few weeks. Um, so I'm really looked after very well. I often wonder where the diocese finds the money because I, I'm very hesitant to, to um, spend money to get it into debt, really. Here, at St Peter's, we've got everything we need, really. I've got a lovely little flat. Um, we've got a lovely chapel, a lovely garden. I'm able to can celebrate Mass every day and help uh, and uh, join in most of the activities, although latterly my eyes have got rather worse. I've only got one working eye, but there we are. I'm able to cope. And I thank God for such a long, happy life as a priest. I'm very glad that you and other people are going to help the diocese to provide for retired clergy because there's an awful lot of the retired clergy now and will be even more in the future. And um, I'm sure that when the people in the parishes find out that there is a need to help retired priests that they'd be very generous as they always are to priests. Uh, I am extremely grateful to the generosity of my parishioners down the years. Um, the campaign that is now being undertaken in the diocese to the, um, for the retirement of priests and for their support is a very excellent campaign. Um, because we all have to stop or need to stop work sometime or other in our lives and um, we all worry about the future um, and while in fact there are difficult times at the moment as far as finance is concerned we are hoping sincerely that people will realise the situation of retired priests uh, in the diocese and be as generous as possible in the support that they can give. I think how much can give today to the work of the church, including looking after old priests. But it goes with all the connections. Give all you can to uh, the work of the church. Take seriously, you are responsible for the ongoing work of the church. And when you are asked by the bishop to cough up some money for a good cause like the retirement of priests, do please be generous. Well, I think it's vital that we do something to support the priests. 
I don't think enough people realize the poverty that some priests live in by today's standards. They are not as independent as, as other people. Youngsters today, 18, 19, 20, are earning twice as much, three times as much in some cases, as some of our priests. Now, you know, what are our values? Are our values purely material? Or do we have a spiritual value? And, you know, that's where our priests come in. They help us to grow spiritually, and we have to put a value on that in today's terms. Gone are the days when it didn't matter because everybody contributed what they could. Now people have other priorities because of the way society has developed and, and grown and spread its wings and the importance that materialism has for so many people. But if we're going to value our priests and make sure that they do not fade into insignificance after the, the dedicated lives that they have lived, after what they have done, for every single member of the parish because that's what they're there for and who is the one we turn to if we need something it's the priest who do we send people to the priest and we expect them to be there well I think it's time we stepped up and we did put our money where our mouth is certainly put our money where our heart should be The hardest thing in my retirement is, is being incapable of walking being in, and uh, getting deaf and uh, uh, being uh, weary sometimes and thinking uh, how much longer, you know, uh, I don't want to go on forever, I would rather die in harness as it were really, as old Archbishop Caldway said. And he but think how much you can give today to the work of the church, including looking after old priests. But it goes with all the connections. Give all you can to uh, the work of the church. Take seriously that you are responsible for the ongoing work of the church. And when you are asked by the bishop to cough up some money, for a good cause like the retirement of priests, do please be generous. Uh, um, the campaign that is now being undertaken in the diocese to the, um, for the retirement of priests and for their support is a, a very excellent campaign um, because we all have to stop or need to stop work sometime or other in our lives and um, we'll be all worried about the future. Um, and while in fact there are difficult times at the moment as far as finance is concerned, we are hoping sincerely that people will realise the situation of retired priests uh, in the diocese and be as generous as possible in the support.